टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट फॉगिंग मेथड ए कंप्लीट ट्यूटोरियल द वर्ड फॉग मींस ब्लरी और फॉगी ड्यूरिंग फॉगिंग वी प्लेस प्लस लेंसेस 1 2 3 डायप्टर ओवर मोनोकुलर एक्सेप्टेंस टू रिड्यूस द विजुअल एक्विटी 1 बाय 2 लेंस देन बैलेंस द विजुअल एक्विटी ऑफ बोथ आईज एंड देन अगेन वी रिमूव द प्लस लेंस इन 0.25 डायप्टर स्टेप्स till patient can read 6 by 6 line why such drama during refraction placing plus power then balancing the visual equity in both eyes then again reducing the power till patient can read 6 by 6 line this drama is done for two reasons one to relax the accommodation during refraction two to keep accommodation balance in both eyes after refraction now you might be thinking why do we need to keep accommodation relaxed or balanced in both eyes during refraction? If we don't keep accommodation relaxed, patient will use his accommodation to see 6 by 6 line that may lead to undercorrection in hyperopia and overcorrection in myopia. And if accommodation is not balanced in each eye due to unequal use of accommodation, patient will develop asthenopic symptoms. Now, Let's know how accommodation works. We all know that accommodation helps us to focus object in between near point to far point. Accommodation at far point is relaxed or zero and at near point accommodation is maximum. How accommodation helps to focus at variable distances. When object is brought closer to eyes, the burdens of rays coming from that object also increase, which lead to rays focus behind the retina. When rays focus behind the retina, image of the object gets blurred. When image gets blurred, accommodation gets stimulated to make the image clear. This is how accommodation maintains clear image in between far point and near point. Now let's see how accommodation can affect the diffraction. We know that in hyperopia, rays focus behind the retina. We already saw that when rays focus behind the retina, accommodation gets stimulated to make the image clear. In hyperopic patient, during refraction, patient can read 6 by 6 line with less power than the required because of using accommodation. Suppose in retinoscopy, it's showing that power is plus 2.5 diopter, but when you plus plus 1.5 diopter only, patient can read 6 by 6 line. That's because patient is using accommodation of about one diopter. In myopia, during refraction, if you give upper correction, still patient will read 6 by 6 line due to use of accommodation. Suppose in retinoscopy, you found that minus 1.5 diopter. But patient can read 6 by 6 line even with minus 2.5 diopter. Because upper correction led to focus the rays behind the retina, and accommodation gets stimulated and bring back the rays on the retina, patient can read 6x6 line. So during refraction, you may give undercorrection in hyperopia and overcorrection in myopia due to use of patient's accommodation as we choose our end point based on patient's ability to read 6x6 line. Undercorrection in hyperopia and overcorrection in myopia will require more accommodative power at a certain point than it's normally required. For example, at far point, accommodation should be relaxed or zero. But when you give one diopter undercorrection in hyperopia and one diopter overcorrection in myopia, both will lead to one diopter accommodation at far point for the patient. So, when a patient needs to accommodate 2 diopter at 50 cm, now this patient will accommodate 3 diopter to see the object at 50 cm clearly. Due to overuse of accommodation, patient will develop asthenopic symptoms. Through fogging, we can keep accommodation relaxed during refraction and can avoid undercorrection in hyperopia and overcorrection in myopia. Now, let's see principle of fogging. When rays focus behind the retina, accommodation gets stimulated and bring back the rays on the retina. Now we place fogging power and rays focus in front of the retina due to which visual equity reduced to 6 by 12 to 6 by 9 from 6 by 6 line. 
now if eyes accommodate eyes will converge more rays will focus more in front of the retina and image will become more blur so accommodation won't activate it now because the purpose of accommodation is to make the image clear remember accommodation only gets stimulated when the rays focus behind the retina and makes the image blur we will remove the fogging power now in 0.25 diopter steps and when patient will read 6 by 6 line we will stop removing fogging power the leftover fogging power will be added to the monocular acceptance let's understand with an example suppose we done our refraction with 6 by 6 visual equity in each eye but we don't know whether we did under correction in hyperopia or over correction in myopia the refraction findings are in right eye monocular acceptance is minus 3 and in left eye monocular acceptance is minus 2.75 now step 1 placing monocular acceptance patient is asked to sit comfortably and fixate the distance channel visual equity chart patient is requested to wear the trial frame now monocular acceptance is placed in the trial frame step 2 binocular fogging Binocular fogging is done in plus 0.25 diopter steps until 6 by 6 letters are blurred but 6 by 9 letters are easily readable. Suppose with plus 1 diopter patient is saying that 6 by 6 line is blurred and 6 by 9 line is readable. Step 3 Making both eye images equally blur. Now, alternate occlusion is performed by occluding the right eye first, then removing occluder to left eye, and then keep repeating this. Patient is asked, right eye image is clearer or left eye image is clearer. Plus 0.25 diopter spherical is added to the clearer image until both eye images are equally blurred. Suppose patient is saying that right eye image is clearer. We will add plus 0.25 diopter in right eye. Patient is saying that right eye image is still clearer. So we will add another plus 0.25 diopter. Now patient is saying that both eye images are equally blurred. Now step 4. Binocular defogging. Binocularly fogging power is reduced in plus 0.25 diopter steps until the 6 by 6 line becomes readable. Suppose after removing plus 0.25 diopter binocularly, patient is saying that 6 by 6 line is still not readable. So again we will reduce plus 0.25 diopter. Now patient is saying that 6 by 6 line is readable. Now step 5. Writing final prescription. After binocular defogging, the leftover plus power will be added to the spherical power of the monocular acceptance power. So, over monocular acceptance, after defogging, we have in right eye monocular acceptance and left over plus 1 diopter, and in left eye monocular acceptance and left over plus 0.5 diopter. So, final power after binocular balancing will be in right eye monocular acceptance was minus 3. If we add the left over plus 1 diopter, then the final power becomes minus 2, and in the left eye, Monocular acceptance was minus 2.75 diopter. And if we add leftover plus 0.5 diopter, then final power will be minus 2.25 diopter. So in right eye, there was a over correction of minus 1, and in left eye, there was a over correction of minus 0.5 diopter. And when we over correct in myopic patient, the rays focus behind the retina, and when we see any object, the accommodation gets stimulated and bring back the rays into the retina using extra effort of accommodation due to which this patient will develop asthenopic symptoms due to overuse of accommodation. That's why binocular balancing is very important while doing refraction. Stay with smart optometry and study optometry smartly.